size of the tail. See, it's not about races, just places. That little glimpse of the boy wearing a black hat and overalls was of a nine-year-old Wade Robson in Michael Jackson's 1991 music video for Black or White. It was during this time that Wade claims he was sexually molested by Michael. Wade's interview with Matt Lauer is very disturbing to any Michael fan. But the big question is, is Wade telling the truth? I'm a father, and I became a father two and a half years ago to this beautiful baby boy. And um, during the first 18 months of his life, I collapsed into two nervous breakdowns, terrifying nervous breakdowns. At that point, I had no idea what was wrong with me, what was going on. During the second one, this thing happened where I started looking at him and imagining him being a victim of the sexual abuse that I was at the hands of Michael. And for the first time in my life, I began to realize that my completely numb and unexplored feelings in relationship to what Michael did to me might be a problem, and maybe I need to speak to someone about it. Wade told Matt he's kept these feelings hidden for the last 20 years, denying Michael ever did anything inappropriate to him until now. When I say his name to you this morning, what do you think of? Heartbreak, pain, anger, and compassion. There's, um, you know, there's no excuse for what he did to me, and I believe many others, but, um, but he was a troubled man, and every effect has its cause. You know, the image that one presents to the world um, is not the whole explanation of who someone is. You know, Michael Jackson was, yes, an incredibly talented artist, and a, with an incredible gift. He was many things. And he was also a pedophile and a child sexual abuser. And you could see the sincerity, the emotion when he talks about his nervous breakdowns. But is Robson telling the truth? Body language expert Lillian Glass analyzed his every move. You can see what a toll this interview is taking on him. You can see the sweat breaking out in this area near his nose. His nose is getting shiny. His upper lip is sweating. So again, this is highly emotional for him. And when I say his name to you this morning, what do you think of? Heartbreak, pain, anger. Now, when he says these things, this is very real, because we did see the anger leak out. So with the fact that he admitted anger, again, adds to his credibility. But he was a troubled man. He was a troubled man, but the anger in his eyes, he is angry. He was many things, and he was also a pedophile and a child sexual abuser. And he says this completely secure. He does not waver in his voice. He says he shakes his head yes, and he looks directly at Matt as he calls Michael Jackson a pedophile. Overall, in my opinion, he's telling the truth. But what about Robson's body language back in 2008 when he professed Michael's innocence to access? We covered the trial, and you were one of the few people to stick up for him. Lots of blinking. A lot of times when a person shows signals of deception, you'll oftentimes see a lot of blinking behavior. And why do you think that was? And why was it important for you to stick up for him? Because he's always been a friend to me. That's what you do for friends. You tell the truth, you know? There's a big difference in 2008 and today. In 2008, we see a lot of signals of deception. We see a lot of blinking. We see him shrugging his shoulder. We see his voice die off at the end. And we also hear him say, that's what we do for friends. So in essence, he did his friend a favor.